Hey everyone, we're back in our Minecraft adventure and in this part I want to fix the spider spawner. So the way I did it is, um, I started doing it, that is, uh, I opened the door and I've put a scaffolding here which uh, blocks the spiders from coming down. And um, the problem uh, that spiders are having is they're climbing, uh, when they're spawning in the monster spawner room and they're hitting the, the wall uh, it sort of automatically makes them want to climb that wall so what we have to do is we have to uh, break the wall so that when the water is pushing them they uh, fall down and not climb that wall so over here uh, we will need um, to uh, we, here we have our system correctly done that is uh, leaving just a small hole uh, at the bottom is closed with a trapdoor on top um, and on top here is a half slab and that little hole is uh, big enough to kill them but not big enough to uh, let them pass so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to dig uh, sideways across uh, pretty much the majority of the room um, to break that bo uh, that wall apart and not allow the spiders to uh, spawn so let's see how this works out we're gonna put some torches so I want the spiders to come down and then I will put another water um, bucket over there to try to get them specifically to this uh, to this corner here um, otherwise they will get stuck over there and we'll have to make yet another fix but for now let's put do i have an extra trap door i do have an extra slab so we can use that over here and a trap door will give them some more space um over here and maybe, maybe three places. I'll start with two and if needed I'll expand it to three. Up here let's make our staircase one further. Here and how are we getting up here? Let's break this wood. It's in our way. Alright, we're coming up here, we're coming up here, so this is sort of the out, whoops, I wanted a torch, because that side we might need actually, and this one will break as well, and here as well we'll put a half slab. I should have some half slabs up here already. Yes. Trap doors as well. We'll toss the extras there. I can also try experimenting with a fence here rather than. Um, something like that they also should not be able to pass this uh, while that is uh, normally going to um, allow the experience to come through this corner and perhaps the items as well so the most important are the half slabs on this side which will prevent them from coming here so we'll need a trap door there move them down over here we'll break this there it can be stone it's not a problem the experience will travel with you as you move to the side So this room is 9 uh, length, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
Oh, and that opens up to a new area, so it'll have to be up to here. We will block here, 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 and here. So up to here, on this side we'll have um, water pushing them to this side, and that should hopefully work out. We can put half slabs here just to see them. Because maybe later we will need to extend the killing um, room further. Something like that. And over here, the last two trapdoors. Here and here. Later, we can make we can extend this if that's necessary. But I'm trying to get the spiders to come to me. Let's break this sword so it doesn't take too much space. There are two skeletons here. All right, that's good. Actually, since I'm here, let's kill those. Because the skeletons have gathered quite a lot, so let's kill them and let them gather again. See, the experience is adding up a lot. Oh, they're still pushing. Must have been a lot of them. Armored one? Oh, they're still there. Not finishing. Alright, the big group is finished. Let's repair these bows. Toss all the extras in the bag. Don't need them now. Alright, back to the spiders. So this part is done. We're going to have here water pushing them um, to the side here. Because I don't want them hanging out on this side. There we go. So this water hopefully will push them and prevent them from climbing um, the wall over there. And over here will be the killing uh, place. Now I do have a torch up there that I will need to remove and once I start removing this wall they might start appearing so it's a little bit dangerous to do this while the spawner is basically active. Alright, we'll, we'll need another bit of the... another bit of water on the third one there. Over there like that. There. The only thing blocking them now is this scaffolding. If I, once I remove it, a lot of spiders will fall, fall on me. And this is the wall that they're climbing, that I'm trying to um, destroy basically so here I want to dig dig up to the spiders which can be dangerous so let's start from the corner first as that's the most difficult uh, location all right we have now water coming from above as well That should hopefully push the spiders to me. 
so they don't reach that wall over there. One, two. One, two. So that's done. There is the monster spawner. Let's breathe a little bit. So now they're climbing this wall right there, and that's what I'm trying to prevent from happening. Let's breathe a little bit. I might have to force my, myself into that room if I don't manage to fix it in a dirty way like this. <laughs> This step is enough to prevent them from climbing the wall. We can always make it a little bit harder for them by taking one more layer and making a step, kind of a step by step approach. Just to do everything possible to prevent them from climbing the walls. So as you see now it's getting lower and lower and lower and the lowest level is this uh, killing, uh, killing place. So soon this is the last bit and the spiders will start falling on me I think once I take that off. There's the torch I put. Remove the scaffolding. See if I can have a quick look. Okay, so there's a bunch of spiders. There are a bunch of spiders over here. What I think is happening is that the water level didn't drop, and that's what I need to fix. Let's see, I'll enter that room over in this corner should be safe. Spider shouldn't be able to reach me. This is the problem. The water level here is sort of in the air uh, because of the way I built it. And the spiders are all in, that, in, in the corners over there, which is not good. We need them all to be pushed over here so we need to close these these waters basically if i take this out let's see i might have to go and come back oh i haven't broken this part it seems over here is very dry. These are none of these are source blocks, they're just stuck in the air. So we'll, we'll need to put dirt and uh, dig it out. So let's get dirt. These are no source blocks. Oh, there was one source block. Okay, let's do like this. We'll close the corner. One, two, three. One, two, three, four.
and the spiders are not spawning again because already I think they've reached their maximum which makes my fixing job easier alright I think that does it so now let's grab the shovel there is not the only water here is not the water that's pushing from the wall here there we go and that's a straight piece of water I don't know if that's better, but you see now the water has now become kind of like a staircase. There we go. Only one block here remains. Uh, let's try to take it off. And I think it'll get fixed once I go in and out. There's only a risk at this corner. I can fix it with a, a bucket of water. We grab a bucket. Put it here. That should cover the last bit. over here that will push the spiders down they might still climb this edge right here Let's see if I can break that okay that's good so the chance for them to climb is much lower now. So they, once they fall, they're now all stuck in the corners. We can reset that easily by just moving far away. They will despawn and then when they spawn again, they will fall down. The water should push them. Let's get a torch to see better. The, the water should push them down. So that one is no good, we need to put it there. Let's take that out as well. Okay, that's more correct. So the water is now straight. It will push them down here. That's an extra bit. And that as well. Looks like I need to fix that with dirt as well. Water sometimes needs to get fixed. And there. That's that. Now it's straight. With uh, this part as the only one. Let's see if there is space to break that. No, that opens the dungeon to another area. That's no good. But perhaps we can put the stone here a bit deeper. No, not there. Right there, that should work. There we go. So we extended it a little bit.
there. We'll get it to work, no problem. Gotta fix the corner water. There, so now it's flowing smoothly, coming down here and pushing the pushing the spiders to the, to this side over here. See if I can put this deeper. There we go. A bit messy here, let's clean it up. You can see the water was not flowing correctly. So now the water is flowing straight and I want it to push further from that side and push them over here. So I think it's fixed in large. There can always be a couple of spiders stuck somewhere. But uh, now it should work, they should all fall, come here, that should not be enough uh, for them to catch. Although we can... No, that's gonna open another area completely. So we don't wanna do that. Actually we could, we could do it like that. Could break this. And increase the chances as much as possible. Like that. So there's no way for them, I think, to catch that wall. So then they will come down here and they might try to catch this part. This part right here. So we break it. As you see, the spider farm is, is more difficult, but they give a lot more experience than, um, than zombies and so forth. So, it's worth spending the time to fix it. Okay, so then here they will fall down further. Let's remove this torch. And here the water should push them to me. And I think we only have one piece of water left, which is over here to push them this way. And hopefully by large that should work. Now I could shoot the spiders also with my bow from here, but once I kill a few, new ones will spawn and uh, basically populate this area where I am and start attacking me so the way the best way to fix that is to go out and come back in so what we could do is we can hit the skeletons and yeah level 38 that's already um, good to enchant items so I could do a couple of enchantments and come back kill these guys I can get them to help me <laughs> by shooting each other it broke okay that's good enough and the bags are full as well so we kind of have to go and come back let's move the torches to their place this to their place here all right and what shall we'll take only full stacks with us so full stacks of arrows Full stacks of bones and stone. And the sides. 
maybe can stay for now. Take some slabs can stay as well. And shears can stay here. In this dungeon, so that's fine. And we'll take maybe the leather. The strings are almost a full stack. And we'll take another full stack from um, the chest above. Wait, where was did I break my own stairs? Okay, we'll make a new one. Over here. Like this. And we're up. Let's take something else from here. Um, the rails will need more. We'll take the, the stone. So maxed out stone. But the bones are not maxed out. So let's take something else. Another stack of stone. Alright, the rest seems we can leave the birch planks and take yet more stone. Alright, so that one load I can take up to the house. That will also allow the spiders to um, despawn from the corners and start coming back, uh, start to come here for me to, to kill them. Can actually make the space to get these guys as well. The spiders can actually hit, if you're too close here, they can actually hit you. Uh, so what you want to do is stay at the wall here. So don't, don't come up to the max here, just stay a bit far further away. And you can hit them from distance, that should be fine. Alternatively, I can make another staircase here and push. Yeah, let's make that because it'll be safer to hit the... Okay, we'll make it on the way back. So for now, we have now this double spawner pretty much done. We'll run home this way. take this opportunity to break the fences any more fences no all right we're gonna go up it will be also faster once I prepare my mending um, high sharpness sword because that will allow me to um, kill the monsters with a diamond sword rather than a um, stone sword. That will make a big difference. Oh good, we have daylight. So it's some chicken. And there is our home base. So it's not far away at all. So now the spiders and the skeletons will both despawn, kind of resetting the, the room. The farm is ready, I should normally collect it, but we'll do it later. All these crops are ready. Alright, we first go to the resource room, um, I've put a new chest here so we can put, oh not the iron, the iron we need to cook, or smelt, and pretty much everything will go in there, the gold need to smelt, the bones will come here. Miscellaneous items are pretty much full. All the arrows are here. One, two. Alright, the coal goes into the village trades. 
I've already prepared also another brewing stand and a stone cutter. Now we'll find a here 26. We'll cook the iron and we'll find a free one for gold. There, that can smelt the gold. All right, the axe I will leave here to chop farms and chop trees and, and so forth and I'll take a new axe with me as the last one so I have to remember to buy another axe pickaxes I have so that's correct let's get the chicken and also my helmet broke so we can get respiration protection 3 protection 4 is let's, let's break first the lower the weaker one there we go and that should do it now with the experience that i have gathered we can pop up to the enchanting area Grab the diamond sword, books, a lot of lapis. And here we have a sharpness 4 for the sword. So I want to get that. Looting 3 sharpness 4, that's actually very good. You'll get more items from the monsters and hit them harder. So that's a great sword for books. Let's take the flame, maybe I'll need it. Loyalty. I don't know what that is, but there is no other good option, so let's take that. And I'm at back to level 30. Efficiency 2, and again loyalty 3. Okay, let's just take that loyalty. Maybe we'll need it later. Put the lapis in the books. Here are books of various enchants that I have done. And these are the mending books that I have done. So to apply the mending on our sword, um, I'll need an anvil. Um, but this is a very good sword. I will use it a bit later. Primarily, the monster farm is not for the items because I have a ton of those strings and so forth so for example here um, I have a ton of strings so I don't need them and also the spider eyes um, of course I'll bring whatever I get but I don't need uh, especially looting for them and for the skeletons I already have a lot of arrows but we'll have more and uh, they'll also drop various equipments and bows which we can um, put together and repair and enchant so for now I want to um, I run back there to see if the spider farm has been done. Alright, I just took a moment to collect the farms and made a hay bale from the wheat as well to make it take less space. Just tossing these in and we can uh, go. They are there. These extra seeds, they'll go into our compost right here. And we don't have to wait for them so that's the good thing about the, the new system that i've put here there and that's going to make bone meal for us and we are going to go away right so with empty bags we can make our way back towards the um wait which way was it this way we can make our way back to the monster spawner uh, to verify if the fix that I did for the um, spider farm, if that uh, worked. Uh, in any case, it will be better than uh, what I had before. So, that I'm pretty sure about. But if it will work super well, uh, or just good enough, um, we will see in a moment. As long as some spiders come, I, uh, that's good enough for me because I will be busy um, killing both sides. 
the skeletons and the spiders so as long as I constantly have monsters to kill for me that's uh, a winning uh, combination other stuff I thought is next time I can bring down maybe a cactus um, because berries I don't have yet I haven't found them but cactus I have so uh, what I could do is I could uh, put some cactus uh, near the exit um, and that way the cactus will also kill the monsters um, n not only me so wait where was it so this was home here it's now almost fully closed oh wait is there a hole here yeah I need to plug this hole there is a small hole fixed now so as we come here normally spiders should start arriving since I just came uh, both are empty right now but they should start coming there I can already hear them let's get a, um, a stone axe I think that will be better okay so now we see that they are stuck on this fence but that's sort of okay because I can actually hit them there we go so they're stuck at various levels oh yeah I wanted to make myself some space here that's right to hit them safely you want to hit them from far away so that uh, they never they're never able to uh, poison you and in fact you might want to put a second level of trapdoors here to make sure that you never go near them we can actually hit them from two squares away so where I am and make sure you never um, go near so it looks like it's working they're falling um, there they are look all of these guys are falling they should see me they're trying to get to me and they're ending up in the corner over there because the water is pushing them one or two spiders are stuck but that's okay and looks like this is the easiest way to kill them by accident we discovered a nice way that door will need to be fixed because I don't want the sp spiders to get stuck behind the door it's relatively easy to kill them this way see a little bit you come close they can already um, hit you and there we go let's eat some chicken and more are coming so that's good and all you have to do is just chop them down when they finish you open the door for a second uh, to pick up all the items and experience like this <laughs> the spiders apparently I didn't realize there a bunch stuck there so that's something to still improve further <laughs> I didn't realize so many were stuck behind the behind the door so I can change it to the same system like this but you need something like a door to get the items or what I could do is uh, put a hopper down there um, with a sort of a chest system to, to pick them up that way for now let's grab a sword since all the spiders are massed in group and chop them down and you, you're gonna wanna come closer but don't do that because they will poison you
So it looks like this fence is both good and not good. It's good because I can hit them from the side, but it's not good because uh, the spiders are coming all the way uh, into it and uh, you want them to come out on top here to, to kill them like that. Th this is the perfect way of killing them rather than this corner. But basically it's a major improvement uh, compared to the first version and uh, they're not reaching me which is very good. It's probably safer to hit them with a sword because the axe could break something. Yeah I'm pretty sure this fence will need to be um, changed. And I'm surprised that the um, that the experience is not able to pass. And those spiders over there, I cannot see them. And there could be many spiders behind this door, so I don't want to open it. Skeletons are giving me free items. So let's chop them. It's because the skeleton which is the most far away, he can see me standing here. And therefore he is shooting his friends. So when they gathered in a group here, you want to kill the skeletons. When their uh, pressure goes down, like now, you switch to the we switch to the spiders. I both like this fence and I don't. Uh, it's, it makes it much easier to... There, we got all the experience. So it can pass, it just, it looks like it's not coming forward, but it can pass to the side. So now I'm back to level 30, quite quickly. And as you can hear, the skeletons are giving me free items, because the front ones cannot see me, um, and the back ones can see me, so they're shooting me, but they're hitting the front ones. So it's working out quite well. I prefer to kill the spiders for experience. They give uh, most uh, the cave spiders specifically. They give the the most amount of experience compared to these other monsters. Just need to learn not to get uh, poison. That's all. <laughs> the bone flu. And more are coming. So I'm pretty sure once I get the diamond sword um, fully enchanted the way I want it, uh, that's going to be the best way to get experience. I just need to figure out a way to fix this spider problem over here of them stuck at the door. I can see their butt, but uh, <laughs> maybe um, maybe two trap doors, one over there and one over there instead of one door. Perhaps that can fix the problem. But otherwise it's a good experience and a ton of items. We'll have a look at uh, our bag in a moment. We'll take just one more load. Because the axe here, it does a lot of damage, but it loads very slow. That's the problem with axes. They're coming so fast that uh, I'm 
they don't give me enough time to pick up the items. So the X broke. I'm being a bit careless. Wow, that skeleton was totally destroyed. A ton of arrows here. They've been trying to shoot me without much luck. Let's break this. Oh no! Bad decision. I wanted to see the crafting table, but I forgot that um, I can do it like this. I forgot that uh, there's uh, water, permanent water that I've placed there. That's a chainmail, the weird looking one. That was uh, a chainmail. There's chainmail leggings on a skeleton. Looks strange, but golden boots. Just having fun and here a ton of spiders have gathered oh looks like the sword is managing to hit some of the guys behind the door that's good so basically it's working we're killing a ton of uh, monsters and once I get spiders, let me get a bit close, I'll get a, a, a big load of experience. There, it's filling up. So level 32 and almost level 33. There it is, level 33. And there have a stack of bone, a uh, stack and a half of strings, spider eyes, arrows. So the items are also adding up. But I was killing more spiders, and usually skeletons give more items. There we go. And these guys. I think with a diamond mending sword, this is gonna work really well. And, uh, and looting three as well, that was really great. Look how fast we're chopping these spiders and new ones are arriving. Not giving me any time to approach and pick up the experience. almost level 34 so I'd say this is uh, very successful already um, I can only think of fixing this door by replacing it or not fixing the door but uh, changing a little bit by removing the door and, and placing there level 34 and still going by putting maybe two trap doors instead of the the doors maybe one on higher level on over on the other side and one below something like that so that the spiders cannot pass but i can still approach them alternatively i can change it to a different type of a door uh, which will be closer uh, which will be a bit see-through so we can see the spiders maybe that's a better um, Maybe that, that that will be better. Well, see, even from there they managed to poison me. These cave spiders are a very nasty business in the open. Skeletons are sometimes managing to hit me, apparently. Reminding me that I should kill them as well. They're... Armored skeletons have a higher chance to drop 
um, or have a chance to drop something uh, special which the regular skeletons uh, do not. So skeletons finished, I turn to spiders, spiders finished, I turn to skeletons and that's the benefit of this uh, double monster spawner. And there is yet a third spawner in this abandoned uh, mine that I had found. I wonder which one poisoned me, I didn't see any spider. That's strange. like a mess which is all to my benefit because I'm already level 35 we'll have a look at the items in a moment I could also put another trap door here so when I turn to the spiders I can close the um, trap door here to prevent the skeletons from shooting me that's also a possibility looking at there we go and you as well yeah they are shooting me when I try to kill the spider so I probably wanna okay let's finish we'll take whatever we have here there I think I, I got all the items let's finish the skeletons actually I do have some trap doors so let's place it now Okay, that will do for now. Let's grab... Uh, where are my trap doors? Are they in the upstairs chest? Here I have regular doors. Let's see. Arrows? No. So let's grab the crafting table. Oh, I don't have birch. Uh, let me see. I do have some extra logs here. Um, birch plank, oak plank. So let's make birch trap doors. Uh, the oak trap doors are nicer than the um, birch ones. So let's see if we can make this by replacing Oh, it's not letting me. Okay. What do you need? Six. We'll take two. So what I could do is I could put a trap door... Where? Um, this one is blocking them that way. It's actually not this one. I need the trap door perhaps here. Yeah, like that. And this trap door, if I close it, then the skeletons won't be able to shoot me. Look at how many spiders came to the party. They're dropping faster than I can kill them. There, the sword broke. Alright. Let's put the trap doors back here. Oh, we got an enchanted, uh, but not a good enchant. But still, a golden uh, chest plate. We'll use the bows to repair the bows. Let's take, this is almost full, so let's take a destroyed one. And the repaired bow, um, we can enchant if necessary. Here we can repair that one with that one. But otherwise I don't really know what to do with these extra equipments. Um, there must be something that could be done. 
but I'm not sure what. Let's see, we have more bows. Let's repair some. This one with this one makes almost a full bow. Here we have two enchanted bows. Those could be disen disenchanted and get uh, and you get ex the experience back for them. Uh, but let's take instead the resources. So the protection two leather boots. All right, let's take that. We'll leave this. We'll leave the trap doors for here. Take the spider eyes. The granite I can take later. One arrow we don't need. The slabs we might need later as well. And these we need to pick it up. Okay, let's pick it up now. Alright, these things we can take later. See how many they are. It's I'm kind of even sorry to leave them. I'm really sorry to leave them. Um, but yeah, they're unlimited, so you can kill them unlimited uh, in unlimited amounts. So okay, let's let's leave them. We want to make a new staircase here because I I don't want to get close to those spiders. Let's see. We can take another bow. Above me, and here, uh, let's see, let's see, we can take this, we can take the granite, not the dirt, the stone, actually iron ingots, we can take those as well, instead of the bones, or instead of the strings, there we go, and actually the coal I need for trading, so let's take the coal instead of the bones and I'll come back here every time I need experience so we're back up to level 36 and I'm getting all this experience to uh, make uh, enchanted books so that I can um, make my first super enchanted item with multiple multiple enchantments that takes a lot of experience which is why this farm was uh, necessary so we have now a double um, spawner farm which is working pretty good which means basically you have unlimited uh, number of monsters coming in um, faster than you can kill them so the only thing I need to do to uh, to make to increase my efficiency is by um, making that diamond uh, sharpness four sword uh, with looting three, which means even more items, um, adding additional enchantments to that sword together with mending. So that's going to be the plan to do uh, next time uh, before going back to that uh, farm for experience. So we are back home and we'll be able to put all those resources into the chests and again level 36 so that means I can enchant more uh, more books so we'll have a look at that now let's first toss all the equipments there I'm not sure right now what I will do with all these equipments but let's put them there anyways we'll take one of the bows with us to the enchant room Let's put the bones here. Spider eyes. Now I have two stacks. And the resources. More bones. More strings. And we are full here. Let's move this one. The name tag here. Coal goes here. 
iron goes there and oak planks uh, let's see this is what birch I'll take birch and I'll leave oak that's it we should be good now let's jump on over to our enchant room grab the books and the lapis I'll need to get back to the village to get more lapis from my new cleric we can check the bow unbreaking three not super duper check the books impaling five that looks good protection and smite let's take impaling five five is generally rare Let's check the bow again power three no book piercing three power two mm, okay let's take piercing three check the bow again unbreaking no sharpness three that's good for the sword protection two not ideal sharpness three is good though but i already have sharpness four so we need to waste one book uh, let's take protection one that's gonna cost me one let's check again power four that's good for a bow and unbreaking three on the bow i prefer to have unbreaking three on the book so we'll need to get more levels now but uh, i'll do that later the book set we got protection one on top i have here the not so good enchantments uh, piercing three can come here impaling five over here and the bow can come here to end the books as well to check later so we are good to go for this part i believe so and uh, i will um collect the farms and the sugarcane in in the farms outside um of the um of the recording and um uh, i probably will make a video for the village um to show the new cleric and uh, all the new villagers and a new, new construction there so for now let's go down and i think that's it for this part so thanks thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode